let me start this video off by saying no, 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 hell freaking no. This is not good news at all. This is not good news. The Belgian international, the Manchester City wizard Kevin De Bruyne has picked up a serious knee injury in training today. This is not good at all. This ain't good. This ain't good. De Bruyne had a lengthy time on the sidelines back in 2016 and it seems like it could happen again. But they're saying two to three months. That's a long time. That's a long freaking time, man. And especially how Manchester City failed to pick up another midfielder during the summer transfer window. It could definitely affect our, you know, title defense, um, our Champions League dreams. It can just screw things up for the season. It can definitely do just that. But if you're an op optimist, if you're an optimist, like I am, I would say, okay, things happen. Things like this happen, you know, players are playing a lot of football these days. Just came back from the World Cup, had a deep run with Belgium, had a heavy workload. Things like this does happen. And you have to be prepared for them. Ah, it's not looking good at all, but you have to look on the bright side, you know? It happens. City has reinforcements in the midfield, but Kevin De Bruyne is just a special player. He's a player who could turn a match on his head just like that. Just like that, nothing's happening, and in the blink of an eye, you know, he could put it in the back of the net with the left, with the right, creating something from nothing. He is a magician. And this could be a big blow for City. But this means that players like Ilkay Gundogan, Bernardo Silva, has to step up. Riyad Mahrez, what a signing he is proven to be now. He will control the wings. The, 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 he, he definitely will control, especially the right wing. Bernardo Silva, with his versatile self, will slot into the midfield, you know, like, you know what I mean, perfectly. He would fit in there like a glove. Let's just say that. You have the likes of Phil Foden, Brahim Diaz, young Claudio Gomez as well. I think I think we'll be okay, you know. I think we'll be okay. When you think about it, I think we will be okay. But it's still a big blow. It is still a freaking big blow. But it gives an opportunity to guys like Bernardo Silva and Ilkay Gundogan, as I said. It's time for especially Gundogan to shine. Definitely time for him to shine. But Kevin De Bruyne seems like he will be out for a while. Report said he's already on crutches. You know, so that's not a good sign at all. Definitely not a good sign. And he could be out for two to three months. But they are currently assessing the whole situation. And we will know more about it pretty, pretty soon. But as of now, he will definitely miss, you know, the match week two game versus Huddersfield. He came on as a substitute versus Arsenal, but I don't think that had anything to do with that, but um, not good at all, not good, not good. You gotta be careful in training, you know, pick up serious, serious injuries. But it's gonna be interesting to see how the season, like the early part of the season plays out now that we are gonna be missing Kevin De Bruyne. And I know, and I know, a lot of fans of other teams like Liverpool, Man United, Chelsea, Arsenal, Tottenham, they're loving this news right now. You know, they're not wishing bad for the player, but they're loving this news right now. Imagine Liverpool without a Mohamed Salah, you know. So, just let that digest. But I'm um, Kevin De Bruyne, injured. I wish him a speedy recovery, you know. Because he is a very, very important part of this team. Very, very instrumental in them winning the title with 100 points last season. You know, he was only second to Mohamed Salah for the PFA Player of the Season. 
And I think he bagged like the most assists last season as well. And he is very, very important. Let's just say that. Let's just say that he is the first man on the, the, the team sheet. Definitely. But Pep Guardiola will have to weigh his options and he will have to implement it correctly. And I think I think he I think he has a plan. I think he has a plan. I think he will execute it very, very well. And we will be okay until De Bruyne rejoins the team. I think we will be okay. So all the best to Kevin De Bruyne. Wish you a speedy recovery. Um, guys, let me know your thoughts on this in the comment section down below. If you're new around here, hit the subscribe button, guys. I'm currently at work. I just found out this news. I had to say something on it. I had to give you my thoughts. Um, until my next video, which might probably later or tomorrow or something. Peace out. Rich Squad. Ah, no. Really bad news, man. Really bad news, guys. I hate freaking injuries. I hate it.